Hello everyone, uh, this is Chan and welcome back to the Get Trained with Span channel. So, uh, as promised earlier, I have uh, shown you guys how to install Fern Connector extension on your Chrome browser, right? So today, one after another, I'll be showing you how each and every of those features works, right? So, on this particular uh, meeting, basically, I'm going to show you how you can log into the friend connector extension and then from there how you can use the software and where you can use the software right so let me share my screen preview so hopefully you guys can see my screen and here I'm on my Facebook so to use this software that is friend connector uh, if you remember even uh, I actually have shown you guys how you have installed these if you can't remember that then you can go back to my previous video and from there you can easily watch it back right so now as I have already um, an account with this software so let me quickly log in with this so after I'm logged in you will be able to see this particular page where it is saying that I'm actually on a wrong page where from I can't send any friend request to anyone right so to uh, to send a friend request I have to be either on uh, basically under a member list of a group or suggested friend list or a friends friend list or even uh, basically there is another option where I can send friend request from a specific post that whoever actually commented on that post or reacted on that post I can also send friend request from there right so I'm gonna show you each and every of those feature one by one in all of my videos so other than this like this is the after login screen that you can see now as it is suggesting that I can go for a member list of a group or friends friend list so or even I can go for the suggested friend list. So if I go for my suggestions, friend suggestions, and these are the suggested friend list. So if I now click on this friend connector icon, you will be able to see that all the features now enabled for me, right? So <coughs> what are these features and how this works? Let me give you a brief description. So lookup interval is what? lookup interval is something like when you are using this software and sending out friend requests to one after another person right so that point of time this lookup interval will be basically acting as the delay time in between each of those friend requests right so like for an example here uh, the late story drive is there that is one and now if I'm sending an automated friend request by using this software so it will then wait for next 30 to 60 seconds uh, like a random time it will take and it will uh, wait to send out friend request for this person then again it will wait for 30 to 60 seconds and then it will send uh, another friend request to this person right other than 30 to uh, 60 seconds you have also 3 minutes 5 minutes or 9 minutes <coughs> that maximum waiting time you can provide we are also working for you know means more time delay in between two different uh, friend requests that you are going to send by the software now why why you should actually you know means give a bigger value while you are automating this process and like that is our suggestion that you should always use like higher value like three minutes five minutes or nine minutes even right and why because Facebook is a very tricky platform right and they don't want you to use any bot on their profile or platform to send out all these friend requests or any other feature or functionality they don't they don't allow any bot to basically you know means help you with that so that is why while we are running this extension that point of time we are automating the process right and we don't want facebook to understand okay this is a bot and this is how something is happening automatically so to make sure about that and the other reason is uh, when Facebook will understand that this is a bot they will eventually block that particular Facebook account right and none of us want our account to be get blocked by Facebook and which is why you should also use 
like minimum three minutes or five minutes and basically sometimes it's better to even use nine minutes because all of these processes are automated right you don't have to sit there and send out friend request one by one next point is request limit or infinite number of friend requests that you want to send limited means that today suppose i want to send 100 of friend request and the delay time i have selected nine minutes so it requires 900 minutes for the whole day to send out these 100 requests so that particular number of requests you can set by this uh, field also you can make infinite that means that point of time friend connector will send unlimited friend requests depending on the delay that you have set actually on this particular drop down depending on that within 24 hours whatever the number of friend requests it can uh, send out that many it will send and it will just carry forward for the next day now this gender filter and country filter is a different aspect which I'll come later to you guys mutual friends also I'll come to you guys later now keywords negative keywords and messages group what are these keywords and negative keywords I will show you when I'll be actually showing you the post that when I'm using post and from there I'm and sending out the friend request so that point of time I'll show you guys this keyword and negative keywords option other than that we have message groups feature so message groups is what whenever we are sending out any of these friend request that point of time if you also want a personalized message to send to those people then by selecting this message group only you can do that and how to create this message group and segments I'll be showing you in my next video now let's get back to this gender and country filter so what this gender filter does is in the sense you can see this late story dive and then Shamim Ahmed then Rajnish Mishra David Hines now few of them like even Emma Sander so few of them are male few of them are female right and they have mentioned that on their profile or sometimes even few people are there who doesn't even provide their gender uh, information over Facebook so friend connector does what it actually goes to their profile and checks that if this is a male or female like you can use this filter that use gender filter and then you can select male or female so by this way you can actually select okay if I want to add only female members in my profile then I can easily select female and then if I run this software then only the female category people or female gender <laughs> category female gender uh, people will be actually added to my profile right and it's the vice versa like if I select male then obviously the only the male people will be getting the friend request from my side now what is this country filter countries are like there are three different tiers in any country level one is the tier level and another is the country level right so you can select by the country name directly that which are the country or which exactly the country that you want to target by that way you can connect with people now obviously people have to provide their you know means country data in their profile now sometimes people doesn't even provide so friend connected is smart enough to judge by their name and the other details that they have provided so far by that friend connector is a very smart tool to judge that it's a male or female category as well as it's a like what could be its country like what could be uh, you know this person's origin so that's something is gonna help you with this country level filter now tier level is what tier level is there are like total three tiers of countries that you will find like if you go for only for US then it will also come in tier one if you go for India that's another tier one it will come so like that way there are three different layers of tiers with the country level so you can also go with this tier level filter in this tier level filter what will happen is basically you don't select a specific country immediately rather than it will go for multiple countries which are coming under this tier but under this country level filter it will go only the selected country that you are selecting and that doesn't matter if it is coming under tier 1 tier 2 or tier 3 right. okay 
so now uh, regarding these keywords and negative keywords when I'll be showing you the post feature that point of time I'll be showing you these two how it actually works right now rather than having any message group in this video let's just see what the configuration that we have for quick demo I am selecting 30 to 60 seconds and I'm limiting this number for 3 and I'm actually not using any of this filter right now just to show you guys how actually this whole process works right so let me just quickly refresh this page and now I'm on basically my suggested friend list and let's see the configuration again that auto 30 to 60 seconds it is limited to three people and then I'm not using any of these other filters and here you see there are like 23 mutual friends 27 mutual friends 5 mutual friends 2 mutual friends so here this is basically for that that you can select the mutual friends number that greater than equal to some number you can put or less than equal to some number you can put which means if I'm putting greater than equal to and if I'm putting 23 that point of time it means that this person has 23 mutual friends with me and I, this filter is saying that if this person has greater than or equals to the number I'm giving that many mutual friends now as I have given 23 so this person will get a friend request this person is greater than whatever number I have given so this person will get one friend request but this person will not get a friend request because this value is greater than so I mean less, uh, greater than this value right so this will not send any friend request to this person so like this way I can save that what would be my configuration less than equal to or not right so for now I'm not using any value in here let's just send a friend request without doing any other filter or function and let's see how it works so now as soon as I clicked on this start option and you can see this particular loader came in and now it is sending out a friend request to this person and like the same way it will happen for next two person so now while it is uh, while actually it is working uh, that point of time I can do whatever else I want I don't have to be on that page forever or anytime soon I can do whatever else I wanted to do right so the next features that uh, I'll be talking about now now the other features that I'll be talking about in this software is delete pending request I mean delete pending request or what like if you have sent friend request to 100 people and after one week or two weeks you are seeing that none of them are getting uh, you know accepted or maybe 50% uh, of them got accepted but 50% is not even replying and you are waiting for another week and after that also you are seeing that those requests are not getting accepted so you can click on this and it will delete all the pending requests that are there in that particular pending request list right this unfriended unfriend all this option will be removed because Facebook doesn't support this anymore change password is something like for this platform itself I can give my old password I can set a new password so after you get your account as soon as you are getting your account you should visit this change password page and you should update your password because you don't want someone else to get your password and account and use it for free right next option is settings page where we do have three different settings one is segment one is group another one is settings right now segment and groups and settings how actually like this works that I'll be sharing with you in my next video then we have logout and the option as cancel account right so cancel my account in the sense this will cancel your subscription that you currently have with friend connector logout button will log you out 
right so none of these i'm gonna uh, do right now and in the meantime if i'm seeing you i'm i'm showing you that like i was here only but in the meantime two person already received request from my side now it's the uh, uh, you know means this the time for this third person and within uh, few seconds only this person also will get a friend request from my side now similar way uh, similar way if i actually you know means visit if i actually visit any of this group where you know means there are a lot of members and some of them are you know means is a business owner or who are entrepreneurs and you want to connect with them because you have something to offer to them or maybe you have some automations that or software services or any other services that you want to showcase to them because they are the potential uh, leads for you right and for that you also want to specify that okay i just don't want to join with any immediate one that it is coming in this profile or group i want to add with specific people who are mentioning about themselves as entrepreneur or ceos or you know means business owner or some other profile uh, like job profile that they have mentioned so you can check the members details what actually showing in this particular group and by that way you can actually set your keywords that okay in that suggested friend list you have seen that it just went over there and randomly one by one after not even randomly one after another it started adding it now if i have some keywords set up in here if i have actually you know any keyword set up in here then depending on that keyword friend request will go out without matching that keyword it will not send out the friend request right so in my next video i'll be obviously showing you guys how to use keywords and then how we can save those keywords how we can create negative keywords and then how we can save them right so let, let's see that if that is done or not so you can see that three of these friend already got received uh, they all of these three people already have received the friend request and none of them actually having any personalized message from my side because i haven't selected any group and here in this badge you can see that how many friend requests it actually went out and that is three that number we selected earlier right so these are the features that we currently have in friend connector now in my next video what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create some segments and groups under the settings page where i'll be creating some personalized message in front of you and while sending them out you know in the sense while sending the friend request out i'll also show you how those messages are working how the people are actually getting a personalized and randomized message from your side which could be anything that you are setting up and those message are basically highly required because any conversation start with the other person saying something or you are only saying something to someone right and unless you are saying something to someone a conversation won't start so friend connector is actually going to help you not only to send out friend request on behalf of you also it will start a communication with that particular person that you know means who are actually receiving the friend request from your side okay so stay tuned and check out my next video on friend connector till then bye bye